Hebrews 4.15 says, For we do not have a high priest who cannot sympathize with our weaknesses, but one who has been tempted in all things, just as we are yet without sin. Hardship, tiredness, weakness. We use these words in some form to describe tough scenarios or tough times where we feel we can't go on. We vent our, we vent our frustrations with close ones to get sympathy and need someone to hear about the dire situation we are in. Of course, I'm no exception. I have vented to a number of individuals of various stages in my life just to get things off my chest. The problem wasn't solved as soon as I described my situation and stopped talking. However, a number of people have told me that I understand your situation, or as we are going to get into here, sympathize with what I'm going through. Though I have heard that a number of times in my life, it has never, ever solved my situation immediately. And I'm pretty sure you can relate. On top of that, I have thought in my mind words and phrases like, how can you understand what I'm going through? You don't even know what I'm going through. When I come across an individual or individuals who have gone through what I have gone through, it makes me feel like, thank God I am not the only one going through this. Though it helps just a little bit, it still doesn't solve the issue at hand or the one that I'm facing. But you kind of ponder, what does this mean from Jesus' point of view? Jesus was human like us, and he faced all sorts of tough scenarios, situations, and troubles on his life on earth. The word sympathize used in this verse is a compound word formed with the prefix with, joined with the word to suffer. It's not a plutonic feeling from Jesus, but a solidarity that is felt as a parent of his or her own child going through pain. In our pain, Jesus is pained. In our suffering, he feels the suffering as his own, even though he isn't in it. If you look at the verse, the verse has a word tempted, and tempted in this context means tested. But examine the verse in all things. Like a parent before a child, Troubles and hardship is not unique to us. Remember, Jesus was also tested. He knew what it was like to be thirsty, despised, rejected, scorned, and tortured. If we can relate his hardships to what we face today, he would have woke up with bedhead, had pimples when he was 13, and had every one of his Facebook and Twitter friends unfriend, unfriend him when he turned 33. But remember the words, in all things and yet without sin. Jesus knows exactly what being tempted and tested is like. He embraces us. He is with us. He has solidarity with us. Here is a quote which I love that is from the book. If you are in Christ, you have a friend who in your sorrow will never lob down a pep talk from heaven. He cannot bear to hold himself at a distance. Nothing can hold him back. His heart is too bound up with yours. I pray and hope that this helps, reminds, and point you to Christ who is with us.